If we're going to believe everything that we see on the news, the war between Russia and Ukraine is inevitable. But what started the conflict between the two neighboring Eastern European countries? This all began as an internal Ukrainian crisis in November 2013, when President Viktor Yanukovych, a known ally of Russian President Vladimir Putin, rejected a deal for greater integration with the European Union, sparking mass protests, which Yanukovych attempted to put down violently. Russia backed Yanukovych in the crisis, while the US and Europe supported the protesters. Since then, several big things have happened. In February, anti-government protests toppled the government and ran Yanukovych out of the country. Russia, trying to salvage its lost influence in Ukraine, invaded and annexed Crimea the next month. In April, pro-Russia separatist rebels began seizing territory in eastern Ukraine. The rebels shot down Malaysian Airlines Flight 17 on July 17, killing 298 people, probably accidentally. Fighting between the rebels and the Ukrainian military intensified, the rebels started losing, and, in August of 2014, the Russian army overtly invaded eastern Ukraine to support the rebels. This has all brought the relationship between Russia and the West to its lowest point since the Cold War. Sanctions are pushing the Russian economy to the brink of recession, and more than 2,500 Ukrainians have been killed. A lot of this comes down to Ukraine's centuries-long history of Russian domination. The country has been divided more or less evenly between Ukrainians who see Ukraine as part of Europe and those who see it as intrinsically linked to Russia. An internal political crisis over that disagreement may have been inevitable. Meanwhile, in Russia, Putin is pushing an imperial revival, nationalist worldview that sees Ukraine as part of greater Russia, and as the victim of ever-encroaching Western hostility. Recently, Russian President Vladimir Putin officially recognized the independence of two separatist regions in eastern Ukraine in an emotional address broadcast on state-run television. In response, Ukrainian leader Volodymyr Zelensky immediately demanded an immediate halt to the Nord Stream 2 project and Ukraine prepared to sever relations with Moscow. Nord Stream is a system of offshore natural gas pipelines in Europe, running under the Baltic Sea from Russia to Germany. The US and several Western allies seize the $11 billion project as a way for Moscow to increase leverage in Europe. Zelensky also told reporters that the Kremlin was paving the way for a major military assault on Ukraine. So if Russia attacks Ukraine what do you think will happen? If we are going to compare the militaries of Russia and Ukraine in regular military manpower, Russia outmatches Ukraine by almost 5 to 1. To give you a much clearer picture, here are the military comparisons of the two opposing countries.